Hello, in this video I will explain how to implement uh, an odometry system in Copelia Sim VREP software. Uh, the aim of the presentation is to understand the concept of an odometry system and also learn how to calculate the speeds uh, of the wheels from the rotation of the wheel axis, as if they had been acquired with some sensors such as an encoder. Uh, from this point uh, we will compute uh, also the position and orientation of the robot but in order to simulate a realistic drift or to simulate realistic drift problems uh, in the position orientation or estimation of a robot, we will introduce a simulated wheel slippage too. So for this presentation, first, uh, if you have not already done this, this so far, uh, you need to uh, work with a scene including a Pioneer 3DX robot. Uh, you can uh, use uh, the code that comes by default with the robot or uh, you can use the code uh, or the, that I proposed for the kinematic control explained in a previous video that I actually recommend you so you can get exactly the same results I'm obtaining here. Okay. So to create an odometry system uh, we will need to create a dummy and place it at the base of the robot uh, just aligned to the wheel axis and, uh, and in the center and you can rename this dummy uh, as odometry and this will be actually or will have actually the same position and orientation as the dummy we used for a previous uh, uh, video in which we said uh, we get the ground tooth position of the robot. Okay? So uh, indeed in this figure you can see that the, make sure that the z axis points upwards and the x axis points forwards. Okay? So uh, also you can add um, in this case a graph to show the trace of this dummy and also to show the trace of the ground truth robot position so you can compare both. Okay. So uh, next uh, we need to add the following code uh, in a syscall init function to obtain the dometry system handle and initialize the robot configuration as I indicating here okay, from the, the position and the orientation of this dummy. Then we can obtain the angular displacement, displacement of uh, each wheel with uh, let's say a perfect odometry system from the rotation speed of each of the joints. This is uh, an internal parameter that we must uh, get from a, a function which is known as get object flow parameter as, as shown and uh, the get odometry function actually returns the left and right wheel displacements and we must call it somewhere, this function must be called somewhere in the syscall sensing function. Okay, so we need to update uh, these values on each simulation step. Uh, however, uh, the previous function is not uh, realistic since the, pre uh, the previous odometry system does not consider typical sources or error sources found in a real robot. In in this sense, a uh, more realistic uh, case would be to apply the noise to the measurements uh, or even to add a constant on a small drift, let's say due to a bad calibration or wheels misalignment. So therefore, uh, we encourage you to extend the previous function to include two uh, input arguments, in this case representing a magnitude of the angular rotation and linear translation noises applied to the odometry system respectively, so it means that alpha 1 uh, affects to the rotation and alpha 2 affects to the translation. And um, also don't forget to include uh, a call to the math random seed uh, as, as I'm indicating here, in a, you, you need to do this in a syscall init function so that uh, random numbers that you generate uh, with this, uh, with this uh, math library are initialized with a different seed each time you run uh, the simulation. So to compute the position we must actually apply the equations of a kinematic model of the robot. Here uh, we use the wheel displacement increments uh, provided by the previous uh, function from the odometry system and from these values we can obtain the arc displacement of the robot base, the line uh, indicated in red, and also uh, the increase in orientation. Uh, so once we have these uh, uh, increments we can obtain uh, the position and orientation of the robot by integrating over the time, okay, as, as indicated. So therefore, uh, the function I propose you to implement should look like this. On the one hand, uh, 
it, it, it accepts um, uh, one uh, argument uh, with the robot configuration containing uh, the position in x, y and also the orientation and then also you, you must, oh, that's the code you need to do is uh, you must uh, call the, the odometry uh, function and update uh, the position and orientation based on this uh, on the previous uh, equations I show and uh, once you have that you have to update the pose variable and then you can also set uh, the position and orientation of the dummy object so you can get a proper uh, trace of uh, the odometry system. Ok, so please ad uh, adjust the noises uh, of the odometry system so uh, to get a reasonable and realistic behavior. Well, in uh, this video I have explained how to implement an odometry system in Copelia-Sim, the rep software. In the following video, actually, I will show you how this works combined with the kinematic control described on a previous video. Thank you very much.